Good morning, Church. It's such a joy to connect with you in this way, and I'm so delighted to speak to you this morning. And my text is from Luke chapter 19, verses from 1 to 10. It's the story of Zacchaeus, the chief of the tax collector. And I'm sure that you might have read several times in the story. And this morning, we're going to look into the key aspect of, uh, of Zacchaeus. What changed Zacchaeus and how the changes happened in his life. Now, Zacchaeus was named as pure and righteous. People would hate him. He was exactly living opposite to his name. Now, he was, he, 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 he was succeeded. He, he succeeded in his business. Now, he was an amazing businessman. Just, just imagine a chief tax collector. Probably in these days, we can, talk, we, can, we can say that he was a commissioner of income tax. Just imagine oh, so much of money that he must be handling. And the Bible says that he was a rich man. So he was a very successful businessman. And the sad part was he was very short. Now, he heard about Jesus. I'm sure that there might be some tax collector because he was in public collecting money. He heard about Jesus. Now, he wanted to see Jesus. Now, the first thing that, that we see that Zacchaeus took a step to see Jesus. Now, I'm sure even as we read the scripture that he was looking for a change. Zacchaeus himself was ready for a change. So he he goes in public. That's a, I mean, uh, just imagine public would hate him. And he takes a risk in going along with public to see Jesus. Since he was very short, he decided to climb a tree. He took that step. He, he wanted to see Jesus. He had a desire to see Jesus. And he took that bold step in going uh, to see Jesus. And not only that, he took a risk of climbing up a tall tree who wanted to see Jesus. Now we see the second thing that when he has taken that one step, Jesus took a step towards him. My friends, it is so important when you take a step for a change, when you take, when you wanted to see Jesus, when you have a desire to see Jesus, Jesus will walk towards you. And that's what we see in Zacchaeus' life. He was desperate for a change. He wanted a change in his life. When he decided to take a first step, and we see that Jesus walking towards him. Now Jesus walked straight towards the tree and he knows his name. He called Zacchaeus, come down. And only that, Jesus went to his house. He had a meal in his house. And we see a, a change in Zacchaeus' a behavior. And he said, and he comes and proclaims very openly saying that what all I have cheated and I'm going to give back those money to those people. He pronounced, he openly confessed about his change, about his, about his sin. That, and not only that, he took that step of confessing. My friend, the key here is he had a desire. He had a desire to see God. He had a desire to see Jesus. He wanted to have an encounter with Jesus. He was looking for a change. When he, he, when he was looking for a change, he, he took that one step boldly by going and climbing up a tree to see Jesus. When, when God sees that one step in you, that you, are, you, are, you, are going to, you, you wanted to see him, my friend, I'm telling you, he would come. He would call you by name. And he wants to have a meal with you. He wants to have a he wants to have a close fellowship with you. And that's what we see in Zacchaeus. And one encounter with God can change your life, your destiny. Your, you will have an answer for all the problem. But it's important that you take that one step. When you take that one step, God will take ten steps towards you. It's a beautiful verse which says that come near to God and he will come near to you. That's what we read in James chapter 4 verse 8. My friends, this, this morning I want to challenge you. If you want to change in your life, Zacchaeus had everything. He had money, he had wealth, he had people, but he was looking for a change in his heart. He was looking for the, the, that vacuum to be filled by God. He took that bold step of going in public and climbing up tree. And he had that desire to see God. 
when 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 god sees that when god saw that desire he straight comes towards him he says come down i'm going to die with you tonight and that's what he's going to do in your life when god sees that one step that you take probably you're looking for a change in your behavior probably you're looking for a, for a change more probably you're looking for that addiction to get over that addiction probably you you are going to have that financial problems probably you have hundreds of questions in your life you you're looking for an answer all that you need to you need to do is take that one step towards god he will take 10 step towards you and that's what we read even the 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 lost son story right the prodigal son when he comes back his father is waiting waiting when he comes back he hugs him and he he gives him all authority and that's what he's going to do when you come towards god god will just uh, just hugs you and he wants to have a fellowship with you and that can only happen if you can take that one step and that will bring a amazing change in your life and that one encounter with god will bring in a a a a great change for you trust me because he is eagerly waiting to to take those steps for you but he's looking for that one step that you will take i want to challenge you this morning take that one step boldly and you will see the change amen i just want to pray for you this morning that god will bless you that god will take that one step towards you as you take one step towards god that's prayer father this morning i come to you lord i come to you all my friends who are listening to this message that you will bless them lord lord even as they're looking for a change in their life that vacuum to be filled by lord even as they're looking for for a breakthrough god father just pray that you will walk into their lives oh god be with them and bless them Lord, it will continue to uh, uh, protect them and continue to provide them, O oh God. And we want to thank you, for you are a good God, that you know us by name, O oh God. We just want to thank you, God. And Lord, we just come and Lord, everyone at your hands, Lord, for your blessing over our families, Lord. Lord, over everyone, O oh God, that you will protect your people. Thank you once again for for this time of devotion, Lord. We bless you in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a blessed day, and see you soon.